This is a recipe from Jerry that I've used for 35 years, 40 years, I don't know how long. You use um, regular um, Idaho potatoes, not red potatoes. You have to peel them and you rice them twice and then you end up with this recipe calls for three and a half cups of potatoes and then a cup and a half of flour. Two tablespoons of shortening, a teaspoon of salt, I use less, a fourth a cup of cream and about a tablespoon of sugar. So you rice the potatoes twice to get all the lumps out and then you add the shortening while they're still hot and then you add, they're supposed to cool but by the time you get that done they're cool. So then you add the rest of the ingredients. This is looking about done. Norwegian left some meat, mostly the potatoes. I guess some people actually make it with a lot of flour. And then you start to roll them out. And when you first start to roll them out, the dough is pretty dry, but it gets wetter as you go. So you have to keep the board really, really well floured. And the rolling pin usually has a sleeve on it if it's not a left the rolling pin. And you roll them out very carefully. There is one thing about rolling them out that with having taught both Louise and now Sarah, that you can't roll them like pie crust. You have to roll them with a really light pin. You hold the rolling pin up high, you know, and, and roll them in all different directions gently. Otherwise, they stick immediately, which is you lay the rolling pin on there and roll like a pie crust and it's a mess. You have to do it with the light hand, all different directions gently. You don't go back and forth. Lots of flour. And you lift them up with the left board and you have to use the left stick to roll them up, take them off of the board and onto the griddle and turn them. When they bubble up on the one side, the, the grill's at 375. What was it, 10 seconds, 20 seconds? And then you pick under it if it's a little bit brown, you know, and then you turn them. And they're ready to go. And you turn them over and you only let them go for like five seconds. And then you stack them in, we've always done it in a double piece of wax paper and you stack them next to each other, not with paper in between, and cover them with a, a dishcloth and keep them moist until they're fully cool and then you can store them in um, Tupperware or something in the fridge. Okay. And then with butter and sugar. And roll them up. <laughs> That's it.